Hey, I'm still alive and I'm still awake. We're about to go and shoot outfit photos in the town of Park City. Keep taking breaks because it's snowing out so much outside. I need to shop. So it gives Anya a chance to shop and me a chance to dry off the cameras. <laughs> Although maybe I'll shop too. So I've been on the hunt for some photography mittens for a while and I just found these. Uh, what brand is this? Swanee. Swanee. Oh, that's Toaster nice. gloves. Of course it is. So I can like, you know, keep just the one finger that needs to be, stick some heating things in here. This is actually really exciting because we've been shooting Boom. outside. Boom. Way too much this winter not to have these, so yes, I might. So this building behind me is the Egyptian Theater built in 1926, and it's one of the primary theaters used for Sundance Film Festival. And I just learned all of that on Wikipedia. Part of my learning what Sundance is while I'm here experience. But it's also probably the most photogenic building on Main Street. All right, done shooting. Time for dinner and a movie. Dinner and a movie! Date night. Thank you, enjoy. have to, to do more. We're at a time in world history where there's unrest and it's a moment of decision. He said now is the time to steer by the stars and not by the lights of each passing ship. And we set a course to try to build a more stable principle-based order, which is now under challenge, but we are going to prevail sense was going up that elevator in Trump Tower. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll know soon enough. We'll be taking no more uh, questions from the audience after this. <laughs> I will tell you, over the years, there have been a lot of people who've started out as deniers and who have changed over time. Whether he will or not remains to be seen. Two days after that meeting, he appointed someone to hit the EPA that uh, I don't think should be heading the EPA. No one person can stop this. It's too big now. We are shifting. We are moving. Seven hundred bucks? Yeah, you get a ten you get a It is morning now. We went to an inconvenient sequel last night, the Al Gore movie, uh, which obviously is a sequel to an inconvenient truth. And I enjoyed it. He was there, which made it even more enjoyable to hear him talk about a few of the things after the film. The directors were there and they spoke to their motivations in making the film and things they went through during it. And I'm really hoping we get to see some more of that today. So I woke up this morning to vlogger photo shoots going on in the living room. And the Donald Trump inauguration happening on the TV at the same time, which was kind of surreal. But now we are off. I know we're going to take a lot of photos today. We're going to be great. I can finally put my gloves to use. Yes. <laughs> On camera two. All right, we're just told there's some amazing video projector thing going on in this room. Ooh. Yeah. Holy shit, it is uh, seriously snowing today, but we're prepared. Although, is the camera prepared? Let's see uh, Let's see how an A7R2 does in the snow. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. 
With pom pom. Okay, with pom pom. No pom pom. No pom pom. Touch your screen to vote now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a better hat, and then I can borrow it. So my biggest problem so far vlogging with this microphone is I've forgotten to turn it on four or five times. I record it for a few minutes and then there's nothing. And I, I'm trying to save battery life, but uh, yeah, obviously it's not worth it. So I'm just going to leave the damn microphone on all day long and see how long it lasts. All right, so I'm here with one of my fellow uh, people. Wait, well, what do you do? So you're, you're Luke. Who are you talking to? Yeah. Have you been to Sunday before? No, I haven't. What do you look for? Uh, hanging out in the snow and seeing some of the movies and oh, kind yeah. of fun, yeah. You're like really good at snow stuff, right? Snow stuff. I'm really good at building snowmen and throwing snow. Oh, okay. That's what you do. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay, so Melissa's playing with the DX01, which basically snaps a bigger sensor and a bigger lens onto your iPhone, and it improves the quality a bit. You can see a definite extra bit of sharpness in the focus point, and there's a lot shallower depth field too, so uh, I don't know if it's uh, worth the extra size, but it's definitely a cool toy. This moment, <laughs> we got stopped in Sundance. This guy listens to Tyler's well, podcast. Yeah, it's funny that I was, Amazing. I was coming down and wasn't sure if I'm trying to get to... Uh, Next up, we're going to another movie. This is Landline, directed by Gillian Robespierre, and I don't know anything about this movie yet. Anya just learned a new trick for processing Instagram photos. Yeah, I was creeping on Modi. And he was whitening in face two all of the areas that are not white, but you want them to be less like dirty. And then this is what it looks like. This is the photo before. This is the photo after. So, wow. so like in that case, I think it's taking out the the SEO filter, right? like the filter added like all yeah. this blue tint to the sky. But I like how the filter made the house as well. So then I just made it my own. I customized the filter. All right, we're back from Landline, which was a fantastically written and acted dramedy about a family going through problems and I don't know that makes it sound like every other indie film but really very well written great dialogue between the sisters her name is Gillian not Jillian how, how was I supposed to remember that anyway thanks for watching the first really about nothing episode where I didn't even have a theme and I'm just uh, vlogging because vlogging is a thing but hey I hope you tune in next time tomorrow I have something more specific to talk about that is related to gear. Is this a vlog about gear? I don't even really know. Um, anyway, thanks again for watching. Follow me on Twitter at Stallman. See you guys.